it's me, Sister Girl Tuesday, back at it again with another video. You see me straight off of work in the scrubs. And I wanna start this video off by saying happy Nurses Week. Thank you to all the nurses out there. Thank you for being the heart of healthcare. So today's recipe that I'm gonna show you how to make is something that reminds me of nurses. It's sweet, it's warm, and it makes you feel comforted. We bake lots of breads on this channel. We bake pumpkin bread, apple bread, but I don't think we've ever made zucchini banana nut bread. And that's what I'm gonna make today. So if you know a nurse, go ahead and make them this bread and just let them know that you care or send them some money, either way. But you already know, before you go, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and break up your peeled bananas. So I've got three ripe bananas, and then I am just gonna take a fork and I'm gonna mash my bananas up. The more ripe the bananas, the easier they will be to mash. I guess the alternative is you can put this in a food processor. Then I peeled a zucchini and then I'm just grating it right over the bowl of the bananas and then mixing it together. I'm taking a half a cup of some chopped walnuts and then mixing that in. Next, I'm going in with a half a container or three quarters cup of some coconut sweetened condensed milk and then I'm giving that a good mix. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of some vanilla, and then I just felt like this bread needed some cinnamon, so I put a dash of cinnamon in there, do as little or as much as you like, and then I'm giving that a good mix. Now I've got baking powder, baking soda, and a little bit of salt. I'm gonna mix that together before adding in my flour. Now I like to add in my flour a half a cup at a time, but if you wanted to, you could add all of it at one time. Now, as you continue to mix, it will get a little thick, and that is okay. So don't be alarmed. All right, now I have a greased and floured loaf pan and I'm just gonna add my mixture in and then I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees and I'm just gonna bake for 40 to 45 minutes and then when it comes out of the oven, try to resist eating it right away, let it cool so that way you can drizzle some dairy-free icing right on top. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. <music> 